When you're creating your website for the very first time, it can get overwhelming with all the different pages you need to create, not just the home page, but the about page, the blog page, the store page, the login page, uh, even the 404 error page, right? And so if you are using Kajabi and you're getting overwhelmed with how to set up your website or finish setting it up once and for all, I'm gonna walk you through not only what pages to include, how to get those set up quickly in Kajabi and give you a head start on what to even include in those pages so that by the time you're done with this tutorial, you'll have a website that is set up ready to capture leads, create content and build your business. Now, if you don't already have Kajabi and you are looking to transition either from a WordPress site like I used to have to Kajabi because it's not just products, it's also your whole website and you wanna test it out, I wanna give you something. If you haven't already, sign up for a free trial with Kajabi using my affiliate link with the link below, grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi, because you're gonna get more. You're gonna get twice as long of a free trial. Instead of 14 days, you're gonna get 30 days to play with the product. You're gonna get up to two free mini courses, one the moment you join called Ready, Set, Kajabi, which will tell you everything you need to know about Kajabi and how to make money quickly on the platform. I designed it. It's by yours truly. So it's like having me coach you through Kajabi while you're on the trial. And then if and when you become a paying Kajabi customer, since you used my affiliate link, part of your monthly payment to Kajabi comes back to support me in this channel at no cost to you. So as a way to say thank you, I wanna give you another course. Just forward me your receipt and I will send you my three-step sales copy formula mini course. Absolutely free. It's awesome. So check it all out. Links below or grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. So you may be like me and you have Kajabi or you're playing around with the free trial and you may be building a product or two, but you didn't make your website in Kajabi yet. Maybe you wanted to do that. Well, uh, this is a way to think about it because Kajabi is, is a beautiful website builder and I've moved my entire Graham Cochran site over to Kajabi about two and a half years ago. I was using Kajabi just for the products and landing pages and webinars and email marketing, but I was still hosting my site myself um, with had to pay for hosting and then I had a, a WordPress site because I've been using that for so many years, but I finally moved it all over. Um, here's the latest version of GrahamCochran.com. And so what I want to show you is how to just think about these different pages. You don't have to have a bajillion pages, but I'm going to show you the ones to worry about. So when you're inside the design section or on the website section of Kajabi, click customize page. If you haven't already picked a theme, you can pick a theme. I'm not going to show you that right now. I'm going to show you the different pages that you need. Up at the top, this is where you can swip, swap between different pages. So there's the home page, the library page, which is what your students see or customers see when they log in to your Kajabi backend. This is what it looks like when they see their products. The blog page, as you can see in my menu, I have the word blog. So that's where you, and my blogs aren't written blog posts. They are video podcasts that I'm embedding YouTube videos, having a little bit of a description, that kind of thing. You definitely want to blog, whether you use podcasts or videos, you definitely want to blog. So you can tweak the blog page. You can tweak what blog posts look like specifically as well, but the blog page, the login page, which is very simple, but this is when people log in to your back end. What does it look like? The 404 page, which is the error page. We'll look at that. The store page and the about page. Now, if you don't see all the pages here that you want to see, like if you don't see an about page here, I want to show you where to create those and then you can edit them. Inside the website tab is a pages tab. And there's three different types of pages. There's website pages, landing pages, and pipeline pages. If you're making one-off opt-in pages or a, an announcement page or a sales page, typically these are your landing pages. But the website pages is where you can actually create a new website page. And it's going to use the same header that's on your homepage and all your other pages and then give you a blank space beneath it to build whatever you want. So if you didn't have an about page here, for example, you could create one, call it about, and then it will show up under your website when you go to the website builder to customize. So just a little heads up in case you don't see what you want to see there. Let's go back to design and let's go back to customize page. If you're familiar with a website builder, all the elements are here on the left and you can add a section and you can add whatever kind of content block you want or need for your page. Your home page. I'll make this simple. This is the most important page on your site. This, this section here is called the hero image, and this is what you see above the fold. If you imagine a newspaper inside of a you know, newspaper stand or on a table, 
it's always folded. And so historically, the most important headline needs to be above the fold so that a person will see it and be able to read it and be drawn to it without needing to pick it up and unfold it. So you need to be able to have that happen digitally. So the most important thing is what can they see on your homepage before they have to scroll down? So look at it on a smaller laptop screen to get a sense of that. You should be able to have the headline, the subheadline, and the button or call to action, the CTA button. That should all be visible without having to scroll. It's if you can have a you know logo bar or credibility bar, and that's above the fold as well, even better. But these are the most important things. And this, I won't go into detail here, but you want to pitch the benefit of your lead magnet and you want to draw them to click the button so they will opt into your newsletter, get on your list and download the lead magnet. That's the most important thing your website can do is position, it's it's all positioning, who you help, what you help them do and specifically what benefit they're gonna get if they download this th thing or watch this free workshop, et cetera. If you have any kind of places you've been featured, like I'm using Business Insider, Fox News, CNBC, Huffington Post, like if you have any of those logos, for goodness sake, put them in a logo bar. Um, if you have trade or industry resources that mean something to your industry and you've been featured there, um, put those logos there as well. So for example, the recording revolution, um, I have companies like Avid and Waves and Pensado's Place and other brands that music producers are aware of that where I've been featured, maybe they featured a blog post of mine or interviewed me or something like that. Those aren't as big as Fox or CNBC to the mainstream, but they are big in my niche. So I'll mention those. And then from there, everything else is up to you. I, I've changed the rest of my homepage based off of what I'm trying to do now with my book and getting more media. But typically the most important thing is get them to see the headline and opt in. Now let's take a look at the library page. The library page is gonna be pretty basic. This is what it's gonna look like when people log in and see their product library when they bought products from you. You can change what the text is here. Like I've said, it had it to say my product. So people are like, oh, these are my products. Just like when I log into my Kindle backend, I can see my books, right? Um, there's a lot of things you can do here. You can have a hero image. There's a thing here called recommended courses. If you don't have that set up, set it up. Recommended courses is awesome. So this is what you can add and you can add an offer of yours, right? Go through all your different offers. And um, let me delete this. Pick an offer that you really think everybody should own. And what Kajabi will do is they will show this as, hey, it's a recommended course. And you could change the text here to be like, you might also like, or my most popular course or whatever. And it'll basically offer the checkout page to whatever product you want. It could be coaching, it could be a membership, whatever you want, inside of their product library when they log in. And it's smart enough to know if they have this course already or not, because it's all tied into Kajabi. It knows their email address. So if they already owned Automatic Income Academy, it's not gonna show them this course. Um, but if they don't, it's going to show them this course, which is awesome. So it's very, very simple. It's beautiful how it's designed. That's a little bonus thing for you, but just a couple of different tweaks you can have on your library page. Okay, your blog page. This is where you're gonna to want to decide what's gonna show up on your blog sidebar or do you even have a blog sidebar? So this is the section here where you can feature or make announcements or promote anything you like. I'm promoting, guess what? Go figure, my lead magnet. Free passive income workshop, watch now. I've also got like my social media links if they wanna click on that. I probably should add some stuff like you can listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts or Spotify if you prefer. Just give them some other options here. But really, this for me is all about while you're browsing my content, if you are browsing it, opt in if you haven't already. You can see this is a theme here. And I'm using the same color for the button as I'm using up here in my menu, okay? So this is where you get to tweak, you know, what it looks like, the settings for your blog, the footer, this, this is, uh, the, the, the body is where you can choose, like, do you wanna show the date? Do you wanna show tags? How far do you wanna truncate the, the text? Do you wanna use the word continue reading or read more or see more, more or whatever? And then the sidebar is where you can adjust and add a bunch of different blocks to the sidebar, right? Or you can just not show the sidebar if you don't want to. You could take that away and it disappears. Completely up to you, okay? So that's the blog page. Login page, this is basic, right? It's just gonna have one section, it's the login section, but you can choose the text, sign into your account, 
You can choose to show an image, which I recommend to have sort of your logo. And then you can just adjust the language here. And that's basically it, okay? But add your logo and just customize it the way you want. That should be one and done. The 404 page, okay? By default, it's gonna have some like, you've reached this page in error. So I've, I recommend being a little playful here. If the 404 page is just what your website will show people, if they type in something like grahamcochran.com slash donuts, that's not a real thing. <laughs> Maybe it should be. But if you go there right now, it's not a real page. And so if Kajabi says, I don't see this as a real page on Graham's site, it's going to just send them to this page as a generic, you've reached this page in error. And it looks like unprofessional, it looks like there's something broken. You don't want them to feel like something's broken. I recommend you be playful. So I, I, had a, I took a picture of myself and I put a little fake tear on my face and I said, uh-oh, I'm sorry to say this page doesn't exist. Head back home where it's safe. And I link to the homepage. Now, I just saw somebody last week um, post their 404 page and it was a giant sales page. It was like, oh, sorry, this page doesn't exist, but maybe you were looking for my lead magnet, you know, my free workshop or my course or my coaching. And it was like, boom, boom, boom. I thought that was genius. So maybe I should update my 404 page, but just know that this is going to be shown to people, whether you realize it or not. So go ahead and tweak it. It's just a simple page and you can have an image, you can have text and you can have a link, right? So you can link wherever you want. Um, you could promote one thing, like promote the, the workshop or your lead magnet or promote your course. Or I'm just telling people go back to the homepage because that's where everything juicy is going to be. So I would at least set up the 404 page once. Okay, the store page. This is the page where you're going to want, uh, you could call it your products page. I'm calling it coaching in my menu. But you're going to want this if you have any products that are always for sale or have a wait list that you want public. And so you can adjust what this looks like. You can have a hero image or not. I just have a store, the store builder, right? And so this is, I've got three custom cards here. So I've got Automatic Income Academy with the title, the image, and a little uh, description because that's always for sale. People can go buy that and it leads to a sales page. I have my six-figure coaching product and this is closed. And so this leads to a wait list page. And then I have my mastermind which right now is full. And so it leads to the sales page, which will say if it's full or not. And it's an application only. So they can apply and get on the wait list if it's full. Um, but this is what I want to show. Now, people typically on these custom cards, by default, um, there's a price uh, section. And I see a lot of people include the price. Don't put the price here. I, I don't recommend putting the price here because that's not how people are going to buy. Don't sell from, from price. Just make this blank. Delete this. Make them have to click on it to take you, take them to the sales page or landing page, so they can get more information about it and then decide if they want to buy it or not. So just delete the price. Uh, and then again, have one, two, three, whatever you want here. I don't have every single thing I, I sell here, just the things that I want visible all the time. And there's a lot you can do here to tweak your, um, your products page. But they call it the store page, but think about this is your products and this can be as, as big or small as you want. Uh, and the final thing is an about page. You want an about page um, because people are going to want to know if they like your homepage, they're going to want to know a little bit more about you and what you're all about. And this is what I teach my students um, is your about page should not be about you first. It should be about them. It should, it should be a qualifying page. So you don't want to talk about your credentials, your experience, who you are, even though you think you should. Again, nobody cares. Nobody gives a rip. They're still trying to find out if this is the website for them, if this is a resource for them. So I start off by saying, hey, friend, I'm Graham Cochran. This is who I am. You might know me from the Recording Revolution. Um, also wrote a book, How to Get Paid for What You Know. But I get right into, have you ever asked yourself these questions? Boom, 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 boom. These are the pain point questions, the qualifying questions. And so I'm trying to see if they're in the right place. Is it possible for me to start a business with little to no money? I'm busy enough as it is with work, school, family. Do I really have to hustle to build a business like everyone says? How can I build and grow a business that actually gives me not just income, but freedom and flexibility? Where do I even start to pivot out of my current job into the unknown of an online business? These are qualifying questions. If you don't resonate with these, then you're not going to like my stuff. But if you do, you're going to be like, hey, I'm, I'm in the right place. And then I get into my story, right? They don't care about my story if this isn't the right place for them. And they still may not care about my story. But then I give a little bit of the, the, the story, what I've learned, um, and, and what it leads to is free workshop, right? Lead magnet. 
which could be a, a, a checklist or a cheat sheet or a PDF guide. The whole point is to like qualify them. Are they in the right place? Tell a story, give them a little more context for who you are and why they should listen to you and what you've discovered. And you're not selling anything, you're offering a free, free guide, right? Uh, and then if you have, again, credibility markers, it's great to put them on the about page as well. Those are the pages you need and that's what you need to start with. And then I would just say on your website, on your, on your menu, keep it simple. Make sure you lead link to your about page, your blog, your products or coaching, or however you want to call it, if you have it, and then your lead magnet and make it a button. And people ask like, well, how do you have that button on the header? So you go to your header, you just click on it, and then you go down here and you add call to action. It's as simple as that. That's all I added. And that's what this button is, is a call to action. You could change the color, you could change the text, you can link to whatever page you want. I'm just linking to a landing page that I created in Kajabi, and it's the opt-in page for my lead magnet. Simple as that. There you go. That's how to set up your website and finish it inside of Kajabi. Those are the main pages you need to know, and it's all available in the website builder. A couple of things, check it on mobile, check it on the different sizes. Again, up here, you can click the mobile thing to see what it looks like. Get to the home page, see what your home page looks like on mobile. It's not 100% accurate because it just depends on the size of uh, their phone. Like for me on my phone, this all shows up on mobile. But just check it all. Tweak the size of things if you need to. Make sure it looks good. Those are the pages that you need. Outside of that, you can add or take away whatever you want to customize and personalize the website to what you need. But those are the core pages you need and what you should include in them. Let me know if that was helpful and if there's a page uh, or a strategy that you're using um, that I didn't mention. I'd love to know in a comment below. And if you haven't already tried out Kajabi and you're getting value out of these videos, consider signing up using my affiliate link below. It would help me out at no cost to you and you get up to two free courses and an extended free trial and my undying love and support. How's that? Have an amazing rest of your day. and I'll see you on another Kajabi tutorial soon.